Hello everybody and welcome to another box tail scoop. I have no idea what week it is, as always, get very confused. And we've had a kind of, what, what are we Those doing? Those are the games with my dance. Oh, I see. I'm going to workshop you, it in right. the videos. Fine. Feedback in the comments to yeah. the first part of Nas Dance, please. We have been in Brighton for a week doing shows there in on the beach, literally on the beach as well. We're talking like actually in the pebbles, on the beach, right by the sea, which was really good fun. But if anybody, if any of you follow us on uh, Instagram, you will have noticed that we literally, apart from snow, I think we had all of the weathers. Yeah. So the first day was gale force winds. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a show that day. Then we had it throwing it down with rain. We had the sun come out and all got sunburn on the back of his neck. Yeah. So we had everything thrown at us, but nonetheless, it was really brilliant to, to actually be doing some shows again. It was lovely to just get out and do some shows. Actually and to do your job. Yeah. To everybody who came along. Thank um, you. Because it was a really well organised space it in terms of social done. distancing. Well done, Warren thing. Festival. And yeah, thank you to everybody who came along as well. Mm, it was great. It was fun. So we've had a slightly shorter week of making this week. We've done uh, just four days instead of five, um, but we've made some good progress, I think, on the puppets. Mm, yeah, so yeah, really we've uh, done various things to the ones that you saw last week, but also Nile's been starting on some new ones. So we've got... Yeah, so shall I start with these ones here? Um, yeah. Uh, really, as we said before in, in the last video where we were talking about making the puppets, we've been a little bit, um, what would you say, like less prescriptive because we're not making a few specific characters so where we might have previously drawn them out and stuff we've been a bit freer here with kind of just building a frame and going okay we've got a huge number of characters to make so let's just get a sense of what this one is going to be and I'll, I'll just start um so we've we've got sort of the reason i say that is because this one looks a bit crazy uh, <laughs> so he's quite angular. Um, I built this stuff on the bottom very much just with kind of an image of him maybe having a beard or something like that. Not sure what will happen with that. I think we were talking about the possibility of of rounding it out. Well actually I don't know because you know other opinions have said that they do think this is quite a good beard looking thing so I think it's I think it's more a question of putting paper on it just to kind of make it look like hair rather than I was just worried it maybe looked like something out of uh, an Avengers movie you know the kind of who knows? Alien you know. antagonist, but... Um. Anyway, I've, I've basically put a, a first coat on him of paper. Um, so there's a lot of things that will be rounded out slightly. But, uh, he's cool though, I like yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, he's, a really, he's an interesting shape yeah, and very unusual. different from the other ones, which is always good. And then I'll put that one out of the way, in fact. And then down at the front here, I thought it might be interesting to see the very early stages. So this is a frame that I've just started building really just started today um, it, it's as you can see like it's just just the cardboard frame the top half of the head I haven't really started on the bottom of the jaw and uh, it's beginning to it's sweet to it's already got quite a sweet little rounded sort of it's going to be a round faced cherub like child I think yeah it? and I imagine with quite a wide mouth and a very round face so. it'll probably be a caroler so no I thought that would be yeah, I thought a nice wide mouth oh singing yeah. carols you know. it's sweet so yeah and then with the ones that you saw last week, I've been smoothing them over. So obviously we get them to a certain stage with the first layer of papier-mâché and then they need another layer of just smoothing and sculpting to make them look more finished, I suppose. So they've also put eyelids on all of them. Uh, this just sets the eye better. So before you will notice, you can see it with the new one, they won't have anything at the top here. Um, but I have been adding those to all of them because it means that when they turn to the side especially, the eye just doesn't look like it's stuck on their head then, it looks like it's part yeah. of their head, yeah. which is better. So he's looking really lovely, um, nice and smooth. And then um, I've done the same thing with this little child puppet here, giving him some nice eyelids so he's got a nice sweet face. We've also been filling out the back to make sure that they're sturdy and that they will withstand a long run of shows, which is very important. We learnt our lesson really with the first things we made. We didn't know how many shows we would do, so they ended up... Um, we no, that's true. I mean, we thought it could just be a handful of shows. Exactly. So. Yeah, they weren't quite sturdy. And then after that, I've been starting to work on the hair for them. So you can see with these two ladies here that I've started on their hair. We're going for as naturalistic as you can with paper, obviously. It's always going to look uh, not quite real, but I think they're quite pretty. I'm going for the sort of Victorian hairstyle where they kind of ringleted the front and the back would have been up. 
and then I'm I'm experimenting with. Um, can you hold her head? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm experimenting like with a um, a kind of bonnet-like thing for the girls because they would have worn some kind of headdress even inside, which mm. looks then quite nice if we just turn her to the side. You can see how that might look. So I think that'll be a nice little finishing touch for them. It'd be nice if the bonnets were removable, I think, potentially, but we can work on that. That might be for characters that are more present than others. I don't know. That's probably a Cratchit child, I think. Martha Cratchit. And then this lady, I've just done her today, just done her hair today, trying to get little streaks of grey in. Um, but I'm quite pleased with it. And the other really nice thing about the curls, they do kind of move a little bit. Uh, so it just gives them a bit of life, even when they're actually doing very little. So I'm quite pleased with them so far, the hair on those ones. Mm. Um, and it'll be nice to do some more elaborate bonnets as well, I think, for the ones that maybe are a bit more outdoors. Yeah. Uh, and then this guy, we made a top hat. Yeah, um, you've also done some work on his face. I didn't yes. We didn't show it before, but... And what I'll try and do is I'll try and put um, a, before. a before and after in uh, the the little section after we've stopped talking uh, just so you can see because it's it, it is quite subtle the difference all of the smoothing out of the face um and the ad the addition of the the sort of eyebrows or eyelids but it makes a big difference you wouldn't necessarily recognize it on first glance but when you see them side by side you can see it actually does make a big difference so um he looks lovely now i think really pleased with the shape of yeah, his head yeah he's got a lovely Head. And, and then, then, yeah, he's got his little, he's got uh, his little, top, his little hat. top hat. So Which he's got a lot of character, I think. He's great. Yeah. So there you go. So we've made some nice progress, really, and we're really enjoying making these puppets. They've got uh, a lot of character, and I think you just, you know, we have a bit more free freedom with the, like we said before, with the lovely kind of caricature nature of some of Dickens's characters to mm. go a little bit um, crazy, I suppose. Yeah. I think we'll probably be able to make two or three more before we get to the point where then we have to be specific about, okay, we need this character as well. We haven't made this one. Yes, exactly, this one. exactly. But it's all free and fun at the moment, so. It is, <laughs> we've been enjoying ourselves. We will carry on next week. I will carry on adding hair and making more hats, I think. And Noel will probably get on with that little caroler boy and then see where we go from there. Yeah, I'm gonna knock out as many of the frames as I can so that we're, we've got as many of the characters as we can get to this sort of stage yeah. and then we can start to think about bodies, bodies and hair yes, and, exactly. and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. so thanks very much for watching again and we will see you next time. Yeah, one other thing I wanted oh, to mention well, incidentally, just for those people who are watching these videos and who have mentioned to us, you know, that they've enjoyed watching them, all YouTubers say this I think, but now that we've been doing this for a little while, if you can, if you have been enjoying it, please do uh, hit the like button or hit the subscribe button or hit the notification bell. It helps us to let other people know about the channel and uh, start to sort of share it with a wider audience. Thanks very much. <laughs>